Start with the configuration. Go to VOK0 and start with the first step. Field Catalog. We were talking about a couple of fields in the scenario. One is Material. So search for Material. M-A-T-N-R, Matner. So we have Material in the Field Catalog. Next we have Customer Group. KDGRP and then we have customer K U N N R. These were the only parameters that we have used in the scenario material, customer, and customer group. Where do I get these technical names from? You know, Matner, KDGRP, K U N N R. For example, how do I know that Matner is material? Just go to the material master, select the material field and hit the help button or just hit F1. The field help window opens up and in that click on the technical details field. Then you get the technical details. The field name is the technical name of the field. Same thing with customer number or customer group. Go to the customer master, select the customer number of the customer group field, hit F1, then select the technical details. So that's it. The first step, field catalog is complete. We just found out that we have all the fields that we require for this scenario in the field catalog. Second step is the condition table. How many condition tables do we need to create here? One, two, three. We have three different scenarios. So we create three condition tables. Go to the condition table creation, select a number Remember, we can only pick between 600 and 999. Sometimes, when you try to create with a number, SAP does not allow it. Let me show you with an example. Say, between 901 and 907, we have some gap. Let's try to create a 902. What does the system say? Table 902 already exists. This one is tricky, isn't it? Same with 903. There is a slot and still SAP does not allow you to create it. That is because there are other condition tables related to pricing like rebates. And they don't show up here, but the table still exists. So you have to be a little patient here. And I've got a little trick for you. This trick will help you find out what are the condition tables that are already taken. All these condition tables, 900, 901, 902. These pricing condition tables are stored behind the scenes, prepended with an A, alphabet A. Meaning, 900 will be stored in the database as A900. 901 will be A901. Now, the trick here is to do a quick search on A9 star, and that will reveal all the tables you, you need. So, just go to SC16, enter A9 star, if you are looking for all the tables starting with nine and it will give you all the tables that start with A9. You will get a pop-up with all the tables starting with A9. As you can see, A901, 902 are already taken. This way, you can see which tables are free and which tables are not. Anyway, I know a table 867 is free. 
so let's use it enter 867 hit enter so let's create the simplest table first the base price list that would be based on just the material so do a page down on the field catalog to find out the material number it's an alphabetical order so you know where M is going to start so go all the way down to M and here is the material remember there's no scroll bar here you can't scroll up and down the only way to navigate the field catalog in this case is where the page up and page down buttons so select the material double click it go to the technical view confirm that the technical name is Matner it is and now you can go back if everything else is okay click on the generate button it says table 616 already exists what it means is that for this combination in this case just material there is another condition table that already exists in a real scenario in a project you just use 616 rather than say create a new condition table 867 but in our case we are trying to learn how to use the condition table so just say hit enter and the warning goes away um, do you want to generate the condition table yes and this package will be given to you by the ABAP or basis consultant I happen to know a sample package and I'm using it so create your own request and save go back and create 868 the next combination is material plus customer material is the first parameter the second is customer customer starts with a C right so we do a page down and there are two customers here which one do we pick select both of them for now because we don't know which one is correct and go to the technical view we see and the second one is not correct it says Heiner H-E-I-N-R not Kunner K-U-N-N-R Heiner is a hierarchical customer that's not what we want we want the standards customer K-U-N-N-R so select the second one and delete it go to the technical view again confirm that you have selected the material on customer and click on generate 868 is so it gives you a message 688 already exists but we don't care still go ahead and generate it go back and create 869 this time we want to create with material and customer group combination select material as the first parameter and then select customer group go to the technical view what do you see Matner and KDGRP both are correct so you can go ahead click on generate create the transport save it now all the three tables are ready 867 868 869 three condition tables what is the next step access sequence we're going to create a new access sequence say uh, something that starts with a Z Z S03 select it and double click on accesses remember access sequence is hierarchical now we should be careful the order in which we put these tables which table shall we put first that depends on the business priority look at the logic here there is 868 
there is 869 the default base price is 867 so this is the key to implement the cascading logic customer material first if not customer group material combination if nothing found default to the base price list so start with 868 click on exclusive and then 20 is 869 so in case you are having a question on why we are giving these numbers 10 20 this is how you put them in sequence just like the line items in a sales order so you put all these tables 868 869 and then 867 now the next step is a little tricky watch out select the first row any row for that fact and double click on fields you'll get a warning ignore it ignore it do we have all greens or blues on the screen or do we have yellows and reds if we have greens and blues SAP is saying everything is fine I have mapped everything properly so do the same thing with 20 select double click hit enter and enter again and what do you see greens and blues good to go go back and do the same thing for line 30 greens and blues so everything is perfect save it so zso3 is our access sequence let's go down a little and make a note so these are our condition tables access sequence is zs03 what's the next step the next step is creation of condition type what kind of condition type should we create what are we trying to do here pricing we're not doing discounts we're not doing freight we're not doing tax or surcharge it is price so when we say price copy from the standard pricing condition type PR00 right so select PR00 copy create your own Z name say ZS03 and this is where we assign the access sequence to the condition type the names of the condition type and access sequence need not be the same I just happen to use the same name ZS03 it need not be the same so save it and make a note of it ZS03 is our condition type where did we copy it from copy from standard pricing condition type PR00 next is the pricing procedure if you are doing it for Germany what is our standard pricing procedure RVAA01 so select it copy it create your own say ZS03 and then 00 any Z name is fine click on copy all and if you encounter warnings just ignore them hit enter save it now go inside the pricing procedure is just created and delete things that are not required so what do you require your own pricing condition type so put that in place of PR00 and anything that you don't require delete them see you don't require discounts at this point right when we configure discounts we can come here and enter them but for now just go ahead and delete them the reason why I'm deleting these unnecessary things is they just cause confusion there are just too many condition types here for starters just have your pricing condition type that's it nothing else so finally we are left with our price and if you want 
you can delete this condition also it's a discount condition type and we have tax and cost that's it a very simple pricing procedure save it what's our pricing procedure zs0300 let's make a note of it the next step is assignment what is the assignment based on sales area document pricing procedure customer pricing procedure we have seen this in the condition technique configuration videos document pricing procedure is a colon so sorry customer pricing procedure is a colon that colon should be associated with 128 right our customer master did we do that yet we did not so let's go to vd02 customer master change mode enter our customer 128 go to sales tab and change the customer pricing procedure to a colon oops where is the colon do we see it here uh, looks like it's taken over by somebody else so that's fine let's use seven I know seven works so let's pick seven test CPP and what's our document type ZSA1 right and that should be associated with the colon as well our document pricing procedure how do we do that go to VOV8 select our document type ZSA1 double click and the document pricing procedure here should be a colon so like I said the customer pricing procedure of 7 plus document pricing procedure of a colon along with the sales area should equal ZS0300 our new pricing procedure let's configure this go to VOK0 go to the pricing procedure determination and click on new entries 1000 10 zero, zero. and then document pricing procedure of colon and then a customer pricing procedure of 7 should be ZS0300 done save it step number 6 is done what is step number 7 creation of condition record so this data that you see here should be created in step number seven so let's start with the base price list what are we going to create m01 cost 100 m02 cost 120 m03 cost 130 m04 cost 140 how do we create these condition records week 11 what do we enter here zs03 that's our condition type and what do we select here first we want to create a base price so just select this combination material and click ok m01 cost how much 100 euros say M02 is 120, M03 130, M04 140. Save it. Next, we should do customer specific price list. We should do it not for 1400, but for our customer 128, the one that we created for this exercise. And the prices are 90, 100, 110, 120 this time in week 11 select the combination material customer again enter the prices here m01 for customer 128 is gonna cost 90 euros save it m02 for same customer 128 is gonna cost 100 euros save m03 same customer 110 euros save m04 128 customer cost 120 euros save 
next we're going to create the customer group specific price list so m01 for 01 customer group is going to cost 95 Zero 02 customer group is going to cost 85 again go back to the key combination this time select customer group if it's not visible expand these columns if you can't see all these columns so m01 material customer group m01 95 euros m01 customer group 02 85 euros save it same thing we're going to do with m02 customer group 01 is 80 02 130 save it and our condition record creation is done step number seven is complete so we have done everything we can from purely from a configuration perspective and from pricing condition record creation perspective and we are ready to start testing so let's test this how do we test it va01 document type zsi1 sales are 101000 and our customer 128 enter the material m01 quality one what is the price 90 how do we know it's correct select that line item go to pricing and you'll see the price here is 90 go to analysis and see what price has been picked up nine so customer specific price list 90 let's go back to the logic and see if it is correct the first preference should be given to customer material combination so for customer 128 material m01 the price is 90 so whatever sap has picked up is correct let's do something here go back to the condition record this time in change mode as opposed to creation mode so that will be transaction code vk12 vk12 select that combination select that record and then delete it save it now let's try to create this order again for the same m01 material what is the price now 95 is that correct so this entry has been deleted and what does it default to if such a price is not found then look for customer group specific price m01 customer group is 01 well does customer 128 really belong to customer group 01 well we don't know let's go check it vd03 for customer 128 what is the customer group it is 01 okay now we know that this customer belongs to customer group 01 so for customer group 01 material m01 the price is 95 so we can check this by selecting the line item go to the price and clicking on analysis look at this we have deleted the customer material pricing record so SAP says the record has been deleted so SAP went to the next combination yeah it found the condition record of 95 euros if you delete that also then it will default to the base price that's it your configuration is done your testing is done now you are ready to answer these questions what is the condition type that you have created what's the condition type you have created zs03 what is the access sequence you have created zs03 what are the pricing condition tables you have configured we have made a note of these 867 
What is the pricing procedure you have created? GS0300. Oh, um, next question. Configure the SAP pricing procedure determination so that for the customer 128, when a sales order of type GS1 is created, the pricing procedure GS0300 will be determined. Yeah, we have done that. The answer to this is 1010.00 seven colon seven being the customer pricing procedure colon being the document pricing procedure so for this combination we have configured the pricing procedure to be determined as zs0300 give the sales order number sure save this and what's the order number 13778 how to determine the pricing procedure that's used in this transaction so select line item go to pricing go to analysis and that's how you find out what's the pricing procedure used for this order that's it we have just finished this exercise